Hey guys, as you can see, I just did a self tan. So, and every time I do a self tan, I look like this. All of the dry areas of my face and like on my body, they get very dark. The color just sucks into the dry areas. So, I thought it was about time to do a foundation review. So, you can see how much it covers and how good it is because I'm gonna review one of my favorite foundations today and it's the new Makeup Store Studio nope, wrong again, Sculpt Excellence Foundation it's available in six shades the lightest shade is called Cotton it's this one and the darkest shade is called Coffee and it's this one you can use them as, yeah, as regular foundations so you can use them for sculpting your face whatever you want to do I have no idea which shade I'm gonna use today because I'm not really used to be this dark as I am right now but I'm thinking a mix between the cinnamon and maybe coconut yeah maybe these two shades I think I'm gonna use so this is an oil free foundation that suits uh, it, it, it gives kind of a matte finish, it's supposed to give a matte finish, but I, I don't really think... On me, it doesn't get really matte, it's a little bit dewy, but that's what I like, so yeah. It comes with a spatula, spatula? do you say that? Uh, that looks like this. I think this is kind of why didn't they just did, did a like pump instead, because this is kind of, I don't know, uh, I don't like it, but well. Anyway, it really lasts all day. You don't need concealer underneath because it covers everything and it doesn't get into, um, you know, like fine lines and stuff under your eyes and it stays flawless all day long. I'm gonna use it with a beauty blender because I think that's the best way to apply foundation right now. I'm totally into the beauty blender. Uh, it's like the best thing. Another thing is that it's Oh, this is light. It is kind of, the colors are kind of like almost a little bit green. Uh, and it works if you are tanned, but if you are very light, I think, well, it looks a little bit weird, but uh, except for that, it's a very nice foundation. I'm going to put this all over my face and then I'm gonna go after with a darker tone to to contour my face and maybe maybe a lighter one to highlight my face as well but as you can see it covers very well and as I can see here in the mirror it turns a bit green or not maybe not green but olive more olive not green maybe I'm gonna do some uh, cinnamon, this one. I I just, I I just applied on my hand before I applied to my face. Oh yeah, this this is better. Why didn't I apply this in my entire face instead? God, I'm stupid sometimes. Oh, this is so much better. I'm gonna use this on top of the other one because it looks so much better. On top of this, I am using a, like a translucent powder and then some highlighter and stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna do that and then I'll get back to you and give the final review. Okay, as you can see, it looks so much better on uh, with powder and some contouring and some highlighting and some blush it doesn't look green it doesn't look like super dewy it looks it just looks like a nice uh, base it's a nice you know quick fix base because it's really quick because you don't need any concealer that's why I think this one is amazing because it covers very very good this foundation is available in six shades which I personally think is like, it could be more shades, I mean, six shades, it's nothing. And I think that's a shame that it's not more shades, so I really hope they will make more shades of this foundation. And then I also hope that they make it less green, because as you 
saw before, my face was a little bit green before I put on uh, the darker shade and put on powder and stuff because now it doesn't look green anymore, right? Um, so less olive shades. Uh, otherwise, it's suitable for, I would say, both oily combination and dry skin and for you who wants a covering foundation because this one is very covering. It's not a light, uh, light foundation at all. It covers almost everything uh, so you get a pretty like flat face before you put on contouring and highlighting and everything I think that's all I have to say is there anything else you want me to review please comment down below and don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again next time bye